Hello friends and welcome to my best of 2023 perfume series. I'm going to tell you all the fragrances that I wore the most this past year. Now it is January 6th today so I just got back to my university apartment. So this is my lovely lovely university home that I'm back in. But thankfully I'm back to my collection so this is going to be the first video that you're going to be getting for the new year. First of all I want to say thank you for 50,000 subscribers. Ah! How am I at 50,000 subscribers? This is like insane to me. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, but like I've just never really had the guts for it. So I really appreciate that you guys are supporting me making these long form videos. And I feel like perfume, you just have to have the nuance. You have to have the descriptions. And I love perfume videos. So I just really appreciate that you guys are allowing me onto YouTube. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting my channel. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I Right, so I haven't counted how many perfumes I have next to me. I just went through my collection and kind of plucked everything that I remembered being a favorite at some point of time for the year. Ideally, I would have categories of this is the best launch, this is the best... I didn't do that because I just want to show you my favorite perfumes that were just genuinely my favorite at some point of time this year. And whenever I tried to restrict myself to categories, it was always a compromise because it would be like, okay, the best of this category. But I was like, but it's not actually a favorite of mine. It's just the best of this category. You know what I mean? So this this is just going to be perfumes that were actually my favorite at some point of time over the past year, or the most reached for, the most used, etc, etc. Starting off, this is a perfume that I don't know if I should just start off with or get out of the way because it kind of goes without saying. First of all, this is a perfume that is so popular, so famous, that I feel like I should just kind of get it out of the way a little bit because, so this perfume is Bianco Latte from Giardini di Toscana. And this is so dearly beloved by me. This is a vanilla caramel scent. And I first got this as a little mini sample I purchased because I saw it all over TikTok, all over YouTube. It was so famous and so viral. And I felt like I was really late to the party buying the sample and I smelled it and I thought you know what that's good it's okay anytime I try a perfume that is so viral online it's always kind of a disappointment when I smell it no matter how good the perfume is just because like it's so hyped up that when I smell it I'm like Mm, that's okay. And that's what I thought. One day, I was going to my 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. class. I put it onto my arms, sat beside one of my group members, and in the class, he just would not stop complimenting me. Every two minutes, he was like, Emma, you smell amazing. You smell like caramel. You smell so good. Like, we'd just be sitting in class, and he'd just be like, you smell so good. Thank you. And so it made me feel really good. Like, it was crazy because I had one spray here, one spray on my neck, and it projected so hard that, like, he could smell it beside me. So in that class, we were talking about, like, um, influencer marketing and stuff like that. And I went up to my professor after that class because I had, like, missed an assignment. I was just asking if I could still submit it. I also said to my professor, it was a really interesting thing, like, that we were talking about influencer marketing. I was like, yeah, I actually do that for perfume. He was like, I want to get something for my wife. What should I get her? And I was like, this guy had been complimenting me the whole class. And I was like, oh, well, actually, the Bianco Latte that I'm wearing right now, he was like, email me the name of that. He emails me back. He bought it immediately. So then I went home. I filmed a video about the interaction that I had the next day about being complimented on my perfume. That video has over 10 million views on TikTok. And it was crazy because I thought that I was late to the party. I thought I was late to the game for this. But the party was just getting started. The brand saw my video. They sent me this bottle of the perfume and I've just been wearing it nonstop. It is genuinely so good. This, oh my god, I love this perfume. It has a really strong, almost synthetic, almost sharp coomer note at the beginning which if you don't know what coumarin is it's the spicy part of tonka bean vanilla and tonka bean are in the same family vanilla has two different ingredients vanillin which is the smell of vanilla and coumarin which is this kind of spicy anise vanillic smell that's a little more balsamic which balsams are peru balsams vanilla tonka bean they're all in that balsamic category so vanilla has vanillin and coumarin but more vanillin a little less coumarin but tonka bean has more coumarin and a little less vanillin. So if you never knew the difference between vanilla and tonka bean, that's what it is. So this one has the coumarin. So it's like vanilla adjacent. This fragrance isn't spicy, but if you smell coumarin, you know what it smells like. And that's what I get a lot in the beginning. Some people have said it smells like synthetic. Um, and that's really that coumarin note, I believe. Um, and then this has a really strong caramel scent, which makes it so warm and fluffy and like pretty. While this is called latte, which is milk in Italian, this doesn't smell milky to me. I know I'm on my lactonic milk perfume journey. This doesn't smell like milk to me. It's obviously, it means milk white. It's not a milk perfume. That said, it is one of my best performing perfumes. It is so long lasting on the skin. It smells amazing. I love this perfume. And I know that I have a video that has over 10 million views on this, um, but I really, I've, I don't have any relationship with this brand. I don't have any affiliate codes, nothing. If you do want to sample it, because I bought my sample from Sense 
but I know that if you're in Canada, there's also a small business called Parfum Exquis. Parfum Exquis. And they're like a super, super cute French Canadian store that ships to Canada and the US. You can also get samples from them. I also have the body lotion of this. I've put it in my body care video and honestly, I was too lazy to get it from upstairs, but it's very good and it's so well used. This perfume is amazing. It is my favorite vanilla scent. I know it's so popular. People are sick of hearing it. Well, I don't know if you guys are sick of hearing it or not, but I, I've seen some people say they are. But honestly, I couldn't talk about 2023 without talking about this perfume. I've been creating on this on TikTok for two, three years now, and I've never had a video get 10 million views. So of course it's going to be a highlight of my year. And genuinely, this is one of my favorite perfumes, one of my most complimented perfumes ever. And it really had an impact on me. So huge fan of this perfume and highly recommend it. Next up, we're going to have another perfume that I did not get in 2023. I got this perfume in 2022, but it was a favorite of mine in 2023. And that is Minuit de Mi from Demi Rolling and Fragrance Dubois. This is a tobacco care Caramel, another caramel cardamom scent tobacco. It's not like Bianco Latte, it's definitely warmer, but this smells like what I would crave on a fall day. Like it smells like um, a chai latte, but more caramelly, like with like caramel syrup and it's sweet. It's tobacco, but it doesn't smell anything like cigarettes. I mean, obviously cigarettes have so much more in them than just tobacco, but it doesn't smell at all cigarette-y or, or dirty at all. It's so clean and rich and deep and sexy and it smells so good on me. And the cardamom, like, Cardamom is one of my favorite notes in perfume and it's not always done right or done well and it is done so well in here and I'm a huge fan of this. You can sample this with Emma 10 at Twisted Lily and I just love it so much. I don't know why I was late to this. I know Demi Rowling came out with this in like 2020 or 2021 or something. I was kind of nervous when she came out with it because again, I, I looked at the notes. I thought it might be too heavy for me or just not something I would be interested in. But when I tried this, it was absolutely insane. I love it so much. It is so beautiful and I'm just a really huge fan of this perfume. It smells like going out, having a leather jacket on. It smells like the girl who I aspire to be. Like this is aspirational. I smell this and I'm like, yes, I am this girl who's hot and sexy and I'm, I am this woman, you know, because I feel like my personality is like bubbly, happy, you know, but this is like all that and hot and like self-assured and confident and this perfume makes me feel happy and if I put on Bianco Latte, it's not that I'm not putting on Bianco Latte for me, but I do know that Bianco Latte gets me a lot of compliments. So it's not that I wear it for other people, but like for an example, my boyfriend loves Bianco Latte. If I'm going to his house, I'll put on Bianco Latte because I know he he loves it. Even though I wear perfume for myself, if I'm gonna go over and we're gonna watch a movie together, he's gonna have to be smelling it, so I like to put on something that I know he likes, you know? This one, I don't, I don't get a ton of compliments when I wear this, and I don't really think that means anything. I really do feel like I wear this for me because it's such a specific style and it's such an Emma perfume, and I feel like there's also, I don't wear perfume for compliments. Moving on to the springtime, this was my favorite perfumes back in spring. This is kind of an interesting one for me because this is one that is totally not my style. It's not one that I would have expected myself to wear, but there is no perfume that could replicate the feeling of how this perfume makes me feel. It was my favorite for going out to bars. It was my favorite for... The winters are so long and cold where I live, like here in this area of Canada that I live, that when it starts getting like warm and I can walk out with my friends with a tank top and no jacket, if there's just this feeling of like liberation, like I am free. That feeling combined with the right perfume, oh, it's good. And the perfume that was it for me this summer was Greenlee from Parfum de Marly. It is a men's fragrance. This is marketed toward men and it is a apple apple vetiver scent and i believe i mean i don't know they don't tell you the specific fragrance molecules they use to make the apple accord but as you know apple apples don't really have oil like you can put wax on the apple peel when you buy it and you have to like wash the wax off but there's no actual oil from apple so as far as i know and from everything that i've learned at fragrance school apple is a synthetic accord so that's why apple notes always smell different and never smell like completely right like this is a really good green apple scent and when i was at perfumery school at isipka last summer there was a fragrance molecule that we smelled called verdox and it's this really specific green apple scent but again it's a synthetic apple scent it's this green grassy kind of smell with an apple but it's not like an actual apple like it's it's definitely a synthetic accord but it's an apple and when i smelled this i was like this has verdox it has to and I, i'm not sure i sometimes wish they did would tell you all the ingredients just as a perfumery student that interests me but i do believe that this is verdox in it it just smells like running through with your arms wide being happy being free it's 
masculine and playful. I don't know, there's just also something really hot about wearing a masculine leaning fragrance, like something so liberating. Going to the bar, wearing a men's fragrance, like I don't know, I love it. It's definitely unisex slash mask leaning. I just love it, I just love it. I think it's so like just happy. I just had such a fun time wearing this. Like to me, this is just such a fun fragrance. It went from like being one of my sort of top-ish fragrances from Parfum de Marly to like my number one really fast. In terms of their men's collection, because my top fragrance of all time has always been Delina. This is definitely for right now my top fragrance from Parfum de Marly, even though I love Altair. I don't know, it's sentimental, it's happy, it's nostalgic, it's fun, it's playful, and doesn't take itself too seriously. This was a favorite of mine throughout the summertime. I really liked it, and I just love these bottles too. They're so girthy and thick, and they have a really strong cap. Big fan of Parfum de Marly Greenly. Moving along, let's go back all the way back to the beginning of 2023 when I actually talked about this in my winter perfumes video, but in 2023 there was like a few months where I would only wear one perfume. And this perfume was Roses Vigny by Masaka, which you can also sample with Emma 10 for 10% off. Wait, I think you can also sample this for Emma 10. Anyways, these are all at Twisted Lily. Oh, yes, this is the perfect vanilla rose scent. It has a really nice top note of lemon and sugar. It doesn't really have a fresh opening, but it, the top notes do what the top notes are supposed to do. They give interest to the perfume. You smell it and you're like, oh, where's this going? And then it's just like a really nice vanilla rose scent. And I was always a big fan of Intense Cafe by Montal, which is kind of like this, but instead of the lemon perfume in the opening, it has a cappuccino note or like espresso note. So you smell it and it's like, oh, coffee. And then a second later, it's just this DNA. Like this and Intense Cafe are completely interchangeable. And Intense Cafe was my favorite perfume 2020, 2021. And then when I got this, it's literally like, it's the same perfumer. It's basically the same brand, basically the same DNA. And I will eat it up! Like, you can sell me the same perfume with just like one tiny difference, like, note. This DNA to me is so strong and so good that I, I really like it. And it's all that I wore for a long time because it just smelled so good. It's so strong and so long lasting. It performed so well. I could spray like one spray on me and I was good. And it was at a point because I wore it through the winter time. Like, I'm wearing the same winter coat basically every day that, like, my winter coat perpetually smelled like this perfume. And I was like, okay, well. I have to match my winter coat, so I'm just gonna wear this today too. So it was just all that I'd wear, and it was my favorite. It's so, it's so good, and it's really romantic. It just smells like going on a date, like vanilla, like a sugared, candied rose with a bit of vanilla, and like there's just, I think I'm gonna wear this tonight when my boyfriend gets home. I, I love this, it's so good. I highly recommend it. If you've smelled Intense Cafe, you've smelled this. Again, I'm telling you my favorite fragrances based on the season slash month. I don't have a favorite perfume from every month or like every season, it's just like, I have favorite perfumes from this year and each of them correspond to a specific period of time, so that's how I'm doing it. It might seem a little unorganized, but we're gonna hop to my favorites in September. In September, I had a perfume that was was my favorite that I wasn't really telling you guys about. There was part of me that was gatekeeping it, even though I hate that word because it's always been a popular perfume since it's been out. It's not a secret that this perfume exists. It's It was just a secret of how much I loved this perfume, but genuinely, like, I wished I could just stick a straw in this perfume and drink it. This perfume also inspired my milk series because this perfume has the most beautiful milk note. Even though there's not a milk note in it, this is what I was looking for when I went on my milk series. I mean, this perfume is uh, Arizona Bloom by Floral Street. I've actually talked about this on my channel already. I can I talked about it for Jeanette McCurdy's audiobook, which I just read it for the third time. It is such a good book, and I, my favorite books, match them to perfumes, and this is the one that I matched for the Jeanette McCurdy book because, again, such a big fan of it. This is the kind of DNA that I could never get sick of, which is so crazy because that book is so heavy. Her life was very hard, but I find something so comforting about that book. I grew up watching iCarly and Sam and Cat and all those shows. There's just something like nostalgic to that book and comforting. Anyways, I just love that book. I, I love that book and I love this perfume. This is a coconut perfume and again coconut is a perfume note that has really surprised me because it's kind of one of my favorite perfume notes. I grew up liking that smell of like sunscreeny perfumes like liking that coconut, Sol de Janeiro, Coco Cabana, like those kind of really Hawaiian tropic type of scents and originally that's what I thought coconut was and I really liked that but then I got sick of that DNA and I was like you know what I don't like coconut but then I discovered this and I realized I love fresh coconut. If you have a raw material of coconut like this, they use that inner fleshy part of the coconut. I can't remember what it's called, but it's this like, it smells like milk. It smells like that milky, creamy note that smells like your body is lathered with lotion and you're just this beautiful, creamy goddess. And it smells so pretty and good. Everything I would want in a perfume, fresh, clean, 
laundry musky scents. Musky and like a fluffy musk, like a clean musk, a laundry musk. I need this in a laundry detergent. I want all my laundry to smell like this. I want my room to, I just want this to be pumping through my walls. This is so fresh and light and pretty and it has salt and pepper in it, which is really interesting. I don't get much of the pepper. Maybe like a slight pink pepper in the opening, but then there's this like vanilla salt. So it has that like mermaidy fresh smell and it's supposed to be like all of the photos are like a girl in the mountains and it's like supposed to be nomadic. You smell this and you want to travel. You know how perfumes all have this like message behind them? This has this like epic, you're in the charge of your own destiny, like nomad, go anywhere kind of thing. I don't know how much I believe in or subscribe to, but you know what? I do, I do kind of see it at the beginning. I don't know if I did, but I do kind of see it now where it's like, yeah, it does smell like anything is possible because it's a perfume that's so nice and just easy and like natural that I feel like it's, you could just adapt it to any situation. And I think that if you don't like coconut, if you don't like sunscreeny Hawaiian tropic scents, this doesn't have that note. This smells clean, milky, fluffy, warm, and just like a nice cozy embrace. But it has this freshness and it does have a slight beachiness with the salt note. And there's a fig note in it, a fig leaf note. It's just mwah. never really talked about this on TikTok. I don't know why, but there's something so great about it. So I wore it amidst September and just like this crazy, crazy heat wave. There's something that really cooled me down about this that I loved and I highly recommend. I am talking today. I don't know why. I did not want to film this video today. Like I have been in the car traveling for so long and I was like, I need to film this so I can have it edited by Monday. I really wasn't feeling filming it but now I actually I love these perfumes so much that this is lifting my mood just smelling them so I'm glad that we're filming my next favorite perfume was one that I meant let me try to turn on a light hold on the lighting is a little different here I hope that's still okay with you guys it's just getting kind of dark outside I might as well just try to match the lighting I have a very yellow light in the background so I just changed my headlight because the sun is kind of setting it's like 3 p.m. and it's already dark here so I'm just gonna try to wrap this up um this is a perfume that I made go kind of viral and it's funny because I ran out of this perfume base I have like one spray left does anyone else do this? When you have like one spray left or one sip left or barely anything left, you just stop using it because you're like, oh, I don't want to use it all up. And then you just never finish it. That's what happened with this perfume. This is Bamboo Harmony by Killian, which is this beautiful bamboo tea fig bergamot scent. Oh my God. I need a full size of this. I think I might have to buy this when I'm in um, France. Oh my God. Tea is one of my favorite notes. This is my favorite gym perfume. It's so fresh, light and airy, but it's so calming. And I find that citrus scents can sometimes be so because citrus is supposed to be awakening and energizing with the tea note and the fig like it's just so in the grass like it's so calming and it just smells like a tea like I don't know I just I just want this to be my fragrance all the time everywhere and I can't believe that I have basically not I can believe that I've basically none left oh my goodness I love it so much and I really don't have words it just smells like being tranquil and being fresh and I love it oh I haven't smelled this in so long, you guys. This is my favorite over the summer and everywhere. And in the fall, this is my gym perfume. And then when I ran low on it, I just like, I've, I've been empty, like in my mind, you know? Now that I am opening it and smelling it again, I'm like trying to like hold myself back from per immediately purchasing a new one because this is, it's so, it's so good. I love it so much. Okay, next up we're gonna do some of my favorite launches of this year. And I think you will see a common thread because my taste, what can I say? Yeah, I've got a predictable taste. So my favorite perfume launch this year was Burberry Goddess. Although I didn't really talk about this on my page on TikTok, I work at a fragrance store. And when this launched, I loved this because I got kind of bored of a lot of the designer fragrances that we have at work. I feel like that's why I talk about mostly niche perfumes on my channel. It's like, I get all the trainings for a lot of these like L'Oreal designer fragrances. I love designer fragrances. It's just that when I'm at work, that's all that I have access to. So when I'm home, I like to try new things, you know, like different niche perfumes and stuff like that. But this was my signature scent at work. This is the one that I put everyone on. This is what I recommended to every customer coming in. This is the answer to all my questions because so many customers would come in, look for a vanilla scent, and all the designer vanilla perfumes would be like vanilla, but like not, you know, it'd be like flower bomb where it's vanilla, but then patchouli, you know, or like hypnotic poison where it's vanilla, but then plastic, almond, it's not just vanilla. And I find it's really hard to find just vanilla at, just vanilla, but vanilla that's done well. Burberry Goddess, I thought, hit the nail on the head. I love this cacao lavender note in the opening. Three different types of vanilla in here. I think there's like black vanilla pod, vanilla absolute. It's just so good and it was so perfect because I think it launched a little bit before fall. I love the bottle. I think it's super cute. There's probably my grubby fingers all over it. Big, big fan of this. I think it's so good and I highly, highly love it. This lighting is just not ideal, but I'm doing my best. Mm, 
we only have a few things left, so let's get into it. Um, another one of my favorite launches this year is the Fleur Vanilla Skin. This is Fleur's best launch. This is one, affordable, two, long lasting, three, Vanilla! It's such a well done vanilla. It's so simple, so pretty, as opposed to Bianco Latte. Like, it's funny because I, I say that Bianco Latte is a very simple perfume. Like, it's just vanilla caramel. But this is like just vanilla. Like, this is more simple. Like, this is simple, but it's still a perfume. This, it's, it's a body spray, you know? But it's it's so good. It lasts a long time. Winter coat still smells like this. It's just held on to the fabric. This is a very pretty strong gourmand scent. There is pink pepper, pink apple, sugar crystals. I definitely get the sugar. I just think it's so good and so simple. I love having affordable options on the market they definitely need to launch more of these because they did this one mango mood which is just mango skin from Philhelm. i don't really like mango skin it was a good dupe but it's just it's not my type of scent and then amber haze which is literally baccarat rouge i'm so sick of that dna anyways this is the only good one well the other ones were not bad but the only one that appealed to me out of this line i think it's like 20 dollars us or something which is pretty good in terms of like sephora fleur um, and i think that they're considered a clean beauty fragrance too so big fan highly recommend and i love vanilla skin okay i only have a few left and i'm just gonna rush through them because one is a product i had to add some kind of body care product i have been over my favorite body washes so many times that i just held back from entering any of those into this video but there was one product that I love so much that I had to put it in here and that is the Way slash Dead Cool Melrose Place Dead Detergent. If you're familiar with a hair care brand called Away, they have fragrances. Side note, I love their fragrances. Melrose Place is this beautiful champagne rose berry scent that was a champagne rose berry scent before the craze that happened in December where like three of them launched at once. It smells like pink fun, happy, clean. That's the Way Perfume Melrose Place. And then we have Dead Cool that has their Dead Detergent and it is scented laundry detergent. And I like Melrose Place. It's a perfume that I own. It's not one that I reach for very much, but I like it. And I saw that they launched a laundry detergent and I was thinking like, okay, I like the perfume, but like, would I want it in my laundry, you know? And then I got this. Look how stinking cute this is. Velvety rich rose fragrance with hints of bergamot, lychee, cedarwood, and white musk. It is so fresh, up to 60 washes. I think I've been using way too much because I went through this in like a month. I think I was just dumping it in because I love it so much, but it's not even that you need a lot of it. I think you only need the like standard two tablespoons for a load. But anyways, this is just, it's so good. I will go into the basement and my whole basement just smells like this. I want to buy this for the rest of my life. I hope this collab never stops existing because genuinely I've never had a fragrance product. Well, I have, you know, I have had fragrance product impact me in this way, but like there's no competition, you know, there's no laundry product that even comes close to competing with this. This makes me excited to do my laundry. And also I'm scared of my basement. Like I try to like call my boyfriend or call my mom when I go down there. I posted a video on TikTok where I showed you guys my basement and people were actually scared for me because of how it looks down there. This will get me excited to go in that basement. And that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, um, I'm gonna just like ruffle these up pretty quickly. There's just two more, but they're kind of side acknowledgements, I guess, would be these last two. This one is Dries Van Noten Swam Alake, which I just talk about so much that I was like, do you guys even want to hear about it? But I love it so much. This is this chestnut rose silk perfume that I'm kind of running out of. This decant was given to me from my friend Han at the Perfume Menagerie on Instagram and TikTok. You can follow her. This is a beautiful gourmand nutty scent that makes me feel like a rich princess looking out onto like a desert. It just makes me feel royal. It makes me feel luxe. It's so long lasting and just like bamboo harmony this is another perfume that now that i'm running low on it i try not to wear it anymore because there's hardly any left i need to just wear it more because it's so good it's so good maybe one that i'll pick up when i go to france again because i know that this brand is kind of hard to get if you're not in france or like new york city highly recommend it and you should check it out and then my last honorable mention is is angelique noir by guerlain this is a it smells like a warm brewed cup of tea and like a soft blanket this is angelica and it's fresh and warm and pretty there's something so unique about Angelica. I remember in the chemistry book that I read, a book on fragrances called The Chemistry of Fragrances by Charles Sell, and they talked about sourcing fragrance ingredients, where they come from, and how much they cost per kilogram. And based on the list that they had there, which was pretty exhaustive, but I'm sure there's more ingredients that weren't on that list, the most expensive fragrance note per weight was Angelica. If I if I take a look, I'll tell you how much it cost per kilogram. And so Angelica comes from celery, which I find really interesting because I don't think celery is that exclusive, you know? like celery isn't hard to find. I can just go to the grocery store. So I don't know, I, I need to look into the ingredient a little more, but that definitely piqued my interest. The fact that this is one of the most rare materials because this is a really not cheap 
fragrance. I know that they did launch their tobacco honey in 2023, which they were sending all over TikTok. I saw everyone posting about it. I don't have that perfume, but I did smell it at the stores. It's honestly really good. It smells like tobacco and honey. It's really good. But I'm very pleased with this perfume. It's my favorite from this collection. I love their products. And this is one that just gave me a lot of comfort. I don't know what month I wore this the most. I think March is when I wore this the most. Again, you can see pretty big dent in it for me getting it in February, I think is when I got this perfume. So that's the last perfume that I have for you guys here. We went over 10 perfumes today. I didn't even count how many and I made an even number, which is very satisfying to me and I'm very happy about that. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I think a lot of you guys that have found me have found me through YouTube, but I do have a TikTok channel and Instagram page. So please follow me there. I really do appreciate like connecting with you guys there because honestly, like on Instagram is usually where I ask you guys, okay, what YouTube video do you guys want to see this week? So if you want any input into what I'm going to post next week, follow me on Instagram because I will ask you there. Tell me what you want to see in the next video and let me know what was your favorites of 2023. What were your favorites of 2023? Because these were mine and I'd love to hear what yours were. Let me know what you're doing, what you're up to, and I hope you all have a great day and stay smelling. Thank you.